If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering the difference between O gauge and O scale, and in today's video, I'm hoping to answer that question for you. Let's get started. So in order to tackle the difference between O gauge and O scale and how to send that message to you guys, I have two cabooses here in the layout. I have an O gauge N5B model caboose, and then I have an O scale N5B caboose. We're going to be comparing and contrasting the two, but before we get into that, let's touch on some terminology. The term O gauge refers to three rail model trains that were put out and labeled as toys back in the day. The most common example is Lionel and their post-war items. Lionel designed these trains for kids and not adults who still play with trains, so they weren't too concerned about scale and scale proportioning. Now, O-Gauge items are 148 scale, but not every single piece is exactly to scale. Now, the term O-Scale refers to collectors, either two rail or three rail, that make their layout exactly to scale. So their buildings, their figures, their rolling stock, and their trains are all exactly to scale. Now, I don't have any experience with two rail, so I'm not going to be touching on that topic today because I feel like I shouldn't if I've never had any experience with it. But I am going to be talking about O scale three rail. When we talk about O scale three rail, we're referring to trains that get the power from the middle rail. All right, guys, I hope that terminology helped you. I hope that answered some of your questions. Now, let's go ahead and look at these two cabooses here and kind of compare O gauge versus O scale. Starting with the front of both models, you can already tell the O scale model has a bit more depth and width. The handrails aren't flush with the wall. The brake wheel is separate from the supports unlike the O-Gage model. The O-Gage model has that entire assembly as one piece. There isn't much depth on the O-Gage model as there is the O-Scale model. On the top we can see walkways on both models, but the Scale model appears to have actual planks that aren't flush with the roof, unlike the O-Gage model. On the sides of the Scale model we can see more letter detailing, and at the top we see a chair where a crewman could sit. On the O-Gage model, we can't see inside the windows, but we do have lettering and decals. And for this specific caboose, we have the American flag and the President of the United States of America lettering on the caboose. This caboose is meant for the Presidential Boxcar Series, as I mentioned before. But other road names would have road-specific lettering. On the O-Scale model, one last thing I want to touch on is that we can actually see two crew figures inside the caboose, which is really cool and a nice little detail. Towards the back of both cabooses, again, you can tell the difference between the O-Gage model and the O-Scale model in terms of height, width, and depth. On the Scale model, we can see lights or lanterns that light up when the caboose has power, which in my opinion is probably the coolest thing about this O-Scale caboose. So the very last detail I want to talk about with both of these cabooses is that the O-Scale Pennsylvania Railroad N5B caboose retailed for around $89.99 and the presidential caboose retailed for $74.99 but if you were to get a regular road name caboose such as the Monon one it would retail for around $59.99. So now that you've seen both cabooses you understand the difference and what your price is going to get you. Alright guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching I hope this video helped answer some of your questions about the difference between O gauge and O scale. If you still have more questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and myself or other viewers of the channel might be able to answer your questions. So feel free to put more questions in the comments if you have any. Nonetheless, thank you for watching. If you're a new viewer, thank you for checking out my channel today. If you would like to check out all my other videos, you are more than welcome to. And if you're a consistent viewer, again, I thank you for taking time of your day to watch my videos and I will see all of my lovely viewers in the next video. Take care everybody.